In Fort Collins, Colorado, a quiet morning was disrupted by a strange discovery. A local resident, while strolling through their backyard garden, suddenly spotted a wild cottontail rabbit, but its face was anything but ordinary. Around the rabbit's snout and mouth were multiple hard, dark keratin growths, rough and jagged in shape. Some were long and pointed, resembling tiny horns or dried twigs. The growths clustered densely, pressing against the nose and mouth, visibly deforming the muzzle. The resident immediately pulled out their phone and recorded the bizarre moment. The short clip lasted only a few seconds, but it was enough to make viewers shiver. Within hours, the video was posted online. Comments poured in ranging from curiosity and fear to joking remarks. Many dubbed it the Frankenstein Bunny or Zombie Rabbit. The incident quickly spread beyond the local community. News outlets and online forums began sharing it, turning the rabbit's image into a national talking point. Some speculated it was a mutant creature or the result of a it failed scientific a experiment. Wild theories began popping up everywhere, but others stepped in to calm the public, reminding them this could simply be a rare biological phenomenon. Wildlife photographers began flocking to Fort Collins, wow, hoping to capture the moment the horned rabbit appeared. One lucky photographer captured the clearest photo yet, the rabbit standing in lush green grass, sunlight illuminating its face with those frightening horns. The photo was quickly shared thousands of times, becoming the defining image of this strange phenomenon. News of the horned rabbit caught the attention of local journalists and television stations. A team of reporters quickly arrived on the scene to investigate the truth. They attempted to approach the area where the rabbit was often seen, quietly observing from a distance so as not to scare it away. A rare moment. By those trees. The rabbit bent down to nibble on the grass. The rough, jagged growths clearly visible under the morning light. Television viewers saw the first high-definition images, confirming that this was not a digitally altered photo. The story was no longer just a strange phenomenon, but had become an event drawing the attention of both the media and the online community. Some local residents began organizing group photo hunts, hoping to catch a glimpse of the strange rabbit in person. However, many also expressed concern that excessive attention could stress the rabbit or alter its behavior. On wildlife conservation forums, debates erupted. Should people intervene to help the rabbit or let it live naturally as it is? A veteran photographer shared, I've photographed hundreds of wild animals, but I've never seen anything like this. The stories, images, and videos of the horned rabbit sparked unprecedented curiosity, paving the way for upcoming scientific investigations. Experts quickly stepped in. Colorado Parks and Wildlife confirmed the cause. An ancient virus called Shope papillomavirus, first identified in the 1932nd by Dr. Richard E. Shope. The virus doesn't spread to humans or pets like dogs and cats, but can be transmitted between rabbits via ticks and fleas, especially in summer. Shope papillomavirus stimulates excessive keratin cell growth, forming hard, wart-like or horn-like tumors. Most cases aren't severely harmful. The rabbit's immune system often clears the growths after a few months. But if growths develop near the eyes or mouth, they can hinder feeding, reducing survival chances. In some cases, the virus can progress to squamous cell carcinoma, threatening the animal's life. The Shope virus once served as an important model in developing the human HPV vaccine. Many researchers believe horned rabbits may be the origin of the jackalope legend in America. This virus was the first proof that viruses can cause tumors in mammals. The horned rabbit story is a reminder that nature still holds many mysteries to be respected and protected. Pathologists explain that Shope papillomavirus mainly affects wild North American cottontail rabbits, especially in plains and mountain states like Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska. Studies show the virus persists in nature due to its life cycle closely linked to parasites like fleas and ticks. These growths are made of keratin, a durable, lightweight, water-resistant material, the same substance that forms fingernails and animal horns. Biologists warn that while harmless to humans, Close contact can stress the rabbit or unintentionally spread the virus to other individuals. In rapidly urbanizing areas, infected rabbits still live close to residential zones, increasing potential human contact. Lab experiments show that Shope papillomavirus can be deactivated by high temperatures or strong disinfectants. However, in the wild, 
Controlling the virus is nearly impossible due to its complex transmission cycle. Some infected rabbits can live for several years, as long as the growths don't affect their vision or feeding ability. Scientists continue monitoring, hoping to better understand the virus's evolution and adaptability. This story also raises community awareness about the importance of preserving natural habitats. The discovery of a wild cottontail rabbit in the meadow stunned many. On its snout and around its mouth were hard, dark, keratin growths, jagged and some sharp like dry twigs, severely distorting its face. Catching sight of it in the afternoon sun made the scene even stranger. The dark, rough keratin growths clung tightly to its snout like small horns sprouting from its skin. The image of the rabbit moving slowly through the grass leaves an unforgettable impression. The jagged keratin growths tremble slightly with each step. Watching it graze shows the struggle it faces. The dark keratin growths press against its nose and mouth, making each bite of grass take a long time. This sighting also raises questions about its survival. The cluster of horns offers no strength, only an invisible burden. When it pauses, the light from the side highlights each sharp, hard keratin growth. The scene is both haunting and unusual. As it raises its head, long ears pointing up, the entire snout deformed by dark, jagged growths is revealed. Seeing it stand still in the meadow reveals the fragility of this small creature. The keratin growths are a reminder that nature is full of surprises. Each time it moves, the long, pointed growths draw a strange new line on the meadow's canvas. That image not only draws attention, but also opens a larger story about how humans protect wild habitats. From the image of the rabbit with its snout deformed by hard, dark keratin growths, people began to ask, how is its habitat changing? Experts warn that ecosystem imbalance can allow diseases like the show papillomavirus to spread more widely. The rabbit, with its strange horns, has become a symbol, warning of the fragile connection between wildlife and the environment. Each step it takes in the meadow is a reminder that humans should keep their distance and let nature balance itself. The growths, while not immediately fatal, still affect its survival, a clear example of disease impact on wildlife. Conservation groups call for protecting natural habitats so species like the cottontail rabbit can survive and thrive without threats. Maintaining a clean and balanced environment not only saves one individual, but also protects an entire ecosystem. The image of the rabbit with its deformed snout is now not just a medical curiosity, but a call to action. By respecting distance and preserving the environment, we can help creatures like it continue to live and adapt. The story ends, but the message remains. Nature will always be magical if humans choose to protect it. Thank you for watching this special story about the horned rabbit in Colorado. If you found this video useful and engaging, please hit subscribe, like, and share to spread more fascinating wildlife stories. See you in the next video.